How y'all doing? Nick Bringle here. And today we're talking about two different Rec. 709 lookup tables, comparing them and kind of talking through the decisions of why you would use one or the other to build off of. And one is the legendary neutral LUT from Joel Familaro's Phantom LUT Pack. And the other is Dehancer, the most powerful film emulation software, plug-in tool, color grading, whatever you want to call it in the world and uh yeah we're just gonna kind of compare the two talk just briefly about it and um yeah hopefully you'll just kind of know something that you didn't i guess what do you think So throughout today's video, you'll be seeing side-by-side -side comparisons of these different Rec. 709 LUTs without any other color grading done at all. Really basic, just slapped it on. And then anything full screen like this, I'm not gonna tell you what we used because I'll just let you decide if you can even truly tell if they're not side-by-side -side and which is which and what is what and how we even got here in the first place. So. And throughout this video, we will not be adding any other uh, color grading tools within this footage. We will not be implementing film grain, tonal contrast, any of that, print tone, nothing. It's just slapping on these different LUTs, the Rec. 709 from their perspective corners, Joel Familaro, Dehancer, and letting you just kind of see how they react in a few different scenarios. I also have to say up front, transparency, I do receive, uh, you know, some passive income from Dehancer as well as the Phantom Lutz by selling uh, these products to you with the links down below. You use the code, helps me out, and you get an awesome product. So um, just have to put that out there. I proudly support both of these products. And I have relationships with both Dehancer and Joel Familaro. They're incredible people and I really support their products because they've put so much time and effort into it. I've had, you know, hours of conversations with Joel just nerding out and talking about how this stuff works because even for me, years in using all of this technology and color science and color grading and uh, experimenting, I still have most of it go over my head. So uh, yeah, thank you, Joel. Thank you, Dehancer. You have really opened up an entire new world for not just me over the past few years, but for so many others to have access to um, be able to make your footage look like it is supposed to uh, as if you're watching a movie. Because as some of us know, not very uh, long ago into the past, it, this was not really attainable for most of us, most just regular uh, guys and gals in the film world. It wasn't as easy to attain that type of skill set easily. You probably had to pay for, you know, courses or use some kind of really clunky software, any of that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, proudly, proudly supporting both of these individuals and, uh, and their products. Right off the bat, I think for me personally, I haven't actually done anything like this, just put them side by side without doing any other touch-ups or enhancements or any kind of color grading, just slapping the LUTs on and putting them side by side. And my initial thought was that I still favor the Phantom LUTs because it kind of, you know, and Joel can speak to this and, and some of you that know more about color science and the way a LUT um, pushes and pulls the highlights and the shadows and leaves room for growth in the contrast or in the blacks, the whites, and everything in between. Joel's Phantom LUT, for me personally, it already pushes the blacks to where I like them and it leaves less contrast and less of that, I guess, what the haziness um, that sometimes we do want. Of course, there are times we want that, but I like starting my base with an already slightly crushed image that I can then pull out from and create what I like. Dehancers is phenomenal as well because when I typically use Dehancer's built-in Rec. 709, that's when I'm using their film stocks. And I do believe that 
they have designed it to work well with their Rec 709 um, LUTs. And as you can see, it's super simple. Depending on the camera that you have, you choose the camera and you choose, uh, for Blackmagic's uh, case, you would choose which color science, uh, is it Gen 4, or Gen 5, and are you shooting at the base ISO or um, the second set, uh, 1250 or whatever it is. So, and then you just work from there and uh, you can start to apply those other effects. But in our case, we are just showing you literally side-by-side -side difference of these two LUTs. And so, um, honestly, there's really not that much to talk about other than the fact that they're both incredible. I guess really the biggest factor with these different LUTs is the price, because if you're purchasing Joel's Phantom LUTs, you're paying a significantly less amount of money compared to Dehancer, which is gonna cost you you know, depending on which version you get up to $400, but you're not just getting that Rec. 709 LUT, you are getting an endless opportunity of tools that will help you become a better color grader and just an overall better filmmaker because you'll start to see the possibilities of what can be and not just sticking on the streamline of what you see on YouTube or wherever else that you're getting information from and, and, and viewing things. Uh, yeah. One thing I wanted to talk about, but I'm not really gonna cover, is color shift, different lighting situations, depending on your lens, what camera you're shooting on. Uh, all of those variables come into play and are major factors when using any LUTs at all, because they are made to uh, kind of highlight the best parts of whatever that image is that you're trying to create or make or you know put in front of the lens and so every situation is going to be different sometimes maybe your white balance isn't perfect maybe that specific lens with that specific ND filter with these type of lights with sun coming in from the south and you're there's so many variables that can adjust your image and I think this just brings us kind of back again to shooting in raw and having that ability to do whatever you want in post um, and just in case you know because sometimes we shoot things I do it all the time I'm testing even with videos like this I do little tests um, but I want to keep it as stripped down and streamlined as possible so that I can explain it to you and you can go do it and think, you know, it's not that difficult. It's not that much of an ask. Okay, well, that about does it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If you stumbled upon this video and you've never visited my channel, go watch some of my other content. Consider subscribing. And uh, until the next one, go create something. Go use a Rec. 709 LUT. Hey, go check out Dehancer and the Phantom LUTs. There's links down below. Uh, I think you get like 10% off and of course it supports me. It supports this channel. I'm a proud, proud user of both of those products and um, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I, I love both of them as, as you know if you've been around. So, um, yeah. Jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line, rock your body on time. Okay, I believe you jump in the line, rock your body on time.